Hey y'all, welcome back to my show, Living Life with Leticia. Today we are going to be cleaning my coffee pot. We're going to be cleaning the coffee canister. I'll also show you what I do to clean my floors. We will be using just four cups of the distilled vinegar. Add four cups of undiluted vinegar to the reservoir. The reservoir. And we're gonna let it stand for 30 minutes. We're gonna run the vinegar through a brewing cycle. With two or three cycles of fresh water until the vinegar smell is gone. I I could have actually used this uh, coffee pot canister to measure the four cups as well. We will let the vinegar stay in there for the 30 minutes, so I'm setting the timer for 30 minutes. So now while that is doing what it does as far as the coffee pot, I am going to try to straighten up this stuff here in the laundry room. I purchased these um, hooks and my bubby has put them up for me. I like them for the most part. I need maybe a couple more. Now these are things that I use for my floor. Uh, we have a mixture of ceramic tiles. I use those to get up all of the dirt or I try to at least. And they do the job for the most part. I have one refill for that and that's the one that came with it and I can't find another. And it's made by someone and I need to look that up. So I will be researching who I bought these items from because I like them, but I always want to have a refill. I don't want to wash them or have to wait until I wash them. I don't know where I bought it from, but it's a Mr. Clean product. That is not, I don't know why I bought that. I thought it was neat, but it's kind of stupid. Now this is a Mr. Clean mop and it's supposed to have a refillable head as well. I can never find the refill mop head. I ended up buying the Liebman mop and the mop head, refillable mop head. So since I found it, I went ahead and purchased them both. So I ended up spending another 15 or $16, plus I had to buy the other mop head, which was about $10. I didn't want to do that, but oh well. When it comes to cleaning, I'm just old school and that's how I was raised. So like a regular old mop, hot water in a bucket, disinfectant, a couple of drops of Dawn dish soap. And by the way, I do have a Swiffer. I like Swiffers, but I believe they just push the dirt around. But they're also good for quick spills if you need to get something up real quick. So, now we are getting ready to get into the bag situation here. Okay, I'll tell you, there's a bag war. I've already told y'all that I like bags, I like bags, I like bags. Not necessarily these kind of bags. I don't like these kind of bags. I think they're, you know, but I put, I bought a thing from Amazon that will hold your, um, your grocery bags. And the man that lives here continues to stuff this thing to the max. You can't even put a bag in there anymore, but he will try. He'll stuff it and mash it until it fits. I, on the other hand, can't stand these bags. So I try to get rid of them ever so often, but look at them, just crazy, crazy. It's crazy. More bags, and more. what are we doing with them? What are we doing? So. I have to hide the fact that I'm going to throw them away. I stuff them and I put them in the trash bag in the trash can way down off in there so he can't see it. But this is obsessive. I have my own paper bags that I keep well uh, contained here and he hates them and he wants this thing to move because he doesn't like those bags there. Boop de boop de boop. But guess what? Bags are staying and 
we are done with that conversation. So back to the coffee pot. We are done and our timer has ended. So now we can run the vinegar through the coffee maker and I'll do that a couple of times and then we'll start running just regular clear water and I'll do that about five or six times until I feel like the smell is gone and everything has wiped out of there. So that's how we clean our coffee pot and it will also clean this canister as well because that canister will have the vinegar in there and it's good for cleaning. Now we'll just run regular water through here and we'll do this about five or six times until the smell has gone and everything is out of that coffee maker. I think we have done all we're gonna do for the day. So I'm just finishing up one last um, run through for the coffee maker. We have learned how to clean our coffee maker how to use my new Liebman mop, and also what I use to clean my floors. It is just about lunchtime. Today I am having uh, my little tuna packet. I have some tomatoes that I'm gonna salt and pepper, and then I have my lemonade today. This is my favorite lunch, and it's very light, but I love it. And I am getting ready to sit down and say goodbye to you guys and put it on something where I can put my feet up. I hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. You guys be blessed and be a blessing. Bye.